Okay, shalom, shalom. Kom je ze alle. Goh loyim la Yehova ba Hashem Yahushai ba Hashem Rechach Hakudash. The honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who who well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the waters of the Akim and Akwaf. That's all here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yehova ba Hashem Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is our Hanan Awaf. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. I just wanted to, um, you know, do a lesson on the sneakiness and craftiness of Esau Edom, which is the biblical name for the so-called white man. And the biblical name for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are Israelites. You come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they're calling you all these different names um, when they colonize you. Those are not your names. You're not black. You're not Hispanic. You're not Native Americans. You're not Haitians. You're not Jamaicans. You're not Mexicans. You're not Latinos. You're not Dominicans. You're none of these names. They came and conquered in the name of white Jesus and gave you all these different names with, with a flag and told you, okay, you're this now, but you are Israelites. Okay, so the, the article is, this is um, from Parents Magazine. Talking to black kids about Israel and Palestine brings up issues closer to home now these are more likely when, when it's talking about parents magazines this is more than likely you know so-called blacks that are you know somewhat live in those you know gated communities so to speak or they live around as the so-called white people and mainly their children or go to these majority white schools and all that stuff you know they look you know their kids they're carpooling you know they're doing all that shit you know so these are the type of um so-called black people really that they're talking about because it is not in the hood this has nothing to do with jake in the hood jake not thinking about no fucking um israel and palestine jake barely even know what's going on they don't watch no news like that you know they're not um the only only um um so-called blacks that are you know or hispanics or native americans that are in the geopolitics are the hebrew israelites because the Lord told us to watch and pray. So that's that's a part of our job to watch and pray and to see what's going on throughout the earth. So we scour these news articles. We you know, we're constantly keeping up with um, what's going on in the world. And it's because we're watchers. The Lord told us to watch and pray and to um, warn the flock. So this is what we do. And this is how we know what's going on. The average so-called black person, they don't know nothing about none of this shit. They may, you know, because it's so out there. You know, yeah, you ask them, they may, yeah, I heard about that, but they don't really know what's going on and they don't know the um, the source or the subject, you know, type of deal. They don't know the source of the topics, you know. So, but anyway, let's get some of this. Because when I was reading it, you know, it's, it's kind of like it's Esau's craftiness as to putting us all together, you know, as one group, like, you know, we all think alike. Okay, so let's get it. It says, talking to black kids about Israel and Palestine brings up issues closer to home black families familiar with their own fight for civil rights have long felt kinship with palestinians talking about the war with kids can be painful you know i don't remember um gathering up with no damn palestinians all i know is they in the neighborhood and they they own the stores liquor stores they own some gas stations and you know and, and how they 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 don't give a fuck about us if anything, you know, they, they're, they're having our, our, our women come to the back of the store, you know what I'm saying, and doing all kinds of little dirty, freaky stuff to them for, you know, you know, um, um, doing shit to them, you know what I'm saying, for milk and diapers and little shit like that, you know what I'm saying, so they, so they, they you know, they're, they're, they're pretty fucking evil towards us as a people, man, so we're not a part of them, we don't give a shit what's going on with them, man. It says the Israel the Israel Palestine conflict, which has been ongoing for decades, has again in, intensified, reaching another crucial and deadly point as Gaza continues to be attacked and violence that many are calling genocide rages on before everyone's eyes. Many parents will have to navigate hard conversations with their children about what's happening in the Middle East. No, 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 we don't. No, we don't. I'm telling you now, I don't know no Jake in the hood talking about this shit. They're not talking about nothing. Let me sit you down, children. Hell, Jake don't even sit their children down to let them know that we have a, a, a fucking enemy. They don't even sit our, ki our kids down to even let them know, hey, look, man, the so-called white man, you got to watch out for that bastard. He's vicious and he will kill you. Our people are not having those conversations like that, man. You see? It says for black people who are typically in support of the people of Gaza, the conversation is particularly, particularly nuisanced. 
Black American communities have found kinship with Palestinians, having been subjected to oppression and colonialism, to still enduring the lasting trauma and impact. Now, hey, look, we, hey, them Palestinians ain't going through shit of what we done been through. There's no comparison. Just like those Israelis, they haven't been through nothing that the so-called blacks have gone through at the hands of the so-called white man. These motherfuckers have done had us for hundreds of years, man, and still got us in captivity to this very day. Still doing us all kinds of dirty. No one's marching. No one's um, um, free, free niggas, you know. And mainly when it comes to these marches, if you see a so-called black there, it's, it's a so-called nigga woman. She's there. That's all I've seen. So-called black women. Always fucking somewhere they don't have no damn business, man. Fussing, fighting, and chanting for the so-called, well, for all these races. Matter of fact, because Ishmael is actually an enemy of ours. This is Ishmael, the Arabs. They're enemy of the Lord, Yahweh, and they're enemy of the children of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So y'all need to stay the fuck away from these people. Let them get what they're getting, because the Lord is doing that. The Lord is in control of what's going on over there. The Lord is having those, 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 um, them damn rats bomb their asses to death. See? So let's, let it play out. Let me start at verse um, 2 here. Psalms 83 and 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy hidden, against thy people and, and consulted against thy hidden ones. This is all these nations, man. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And this is what they've done to us. All these nations have gotten together. Well, what, what do you think is going on at these UN meetings? You don't see no niggas there. Ain't no niggas there speaking on our behalf like, hey, look, man, in a hood in New York, we need uh, such and such, such and such. And, you know, throughout Detroit, you know, Dallas and Pittsburgh and all these different places, you know, our people, we need assistance. What, you know, we're not getting no fucking aid. Nobody is there speaking on our behalf, man. You out your damn mind? These people are getting together. All these other nations are getting together and they're saying, hey, look, let's keep them niggas down. Let's do what we can to keep them niggas down. Because they're starting to rise up. They're starting to figure out who they are. We don't know how it's happening, but we have to do something to keep them from riling up and, and calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. How do they know the names? We spent so much money trying to keep them from knowing these things. This is what they're doing right now. Okay, it says, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom. And who is the Edomites? The so-called white man. That's the number one race that ha has oppressed us. That's his biblical name. He's hiding under the banner of white like he looked like a fucking glass of milk, man. This man, is, is, he's pinkish to reddish in color. The scriptures describe him as so. He's a cunning hunter. The scripture talks about he lives by the sword. Everywhere he go, he's fucking fighting, taking, stealing, robbery, you know. And he has had the children of Israel... Under his, under his foot for a real long time, man. And the rest of these nations, they have helped them. And here you go. And the Ishmaelites. That's the second people on the, on the list. The Arabs. The Ishmaelites. You see? Ask one of those Arabs. Ask one of those people if they know that they're, um, they're from Ishmael. They'll tell you. They're proud, they proud to tell you they're from um, Ishmael. So they know who they are. These people are still around biblically, man. You see? So we don't have no, 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 no partnerships. We don't have no remorse. We don't give a fuck Palestine. Fuck a damn Palestinian, man. Fuck Israel. Fuck Israelis. We don't care about none of that, man. We're not a part of none of that. We are just the children of Israel bringing out the truth of the scriptures. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of Israel. And that's that. That's the message that we're preaching. That's the, and for you to repent. That's it. That's our main message, to repent. Repent, repent, repent. The kingdom of, uh, of the Lord is at hand, man. That's our main job. That's all we're out here to do. It's real simple. This is the good news of the gospel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, wake up. Repent. The Lord is extending the hand of mercy to us. You have to turn from your wicked ways. Turn from the works of darkness. The kingdom is at hand. You know, Romans 13, 11, and 12. 
For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. That's what we're bringing out, man. It's simple. It says the tabernacles of Edom and Ishmaelites of Moab. Those are the so-called Chinese today. And the Hagarines, Gibal, and Ammon, and Amalek. Amalek is the people that's over there now talking about they're the children of Israel. Not fitting any of the prophecies, not fitting any of the curses, not fitting any of the blessings, not fitting anything that has anything to do with the scriptures. Those people, the Palestinians and the Israelis, neither one of them should be in that land. Man. And, they're, and the Lord is about to reject them. They about to, the Lord, he's working a work right now. Everything that you see going on, the Lord is working that out, man. He's working that out on behalf of the children of Israel. You see? Because his coming is coming soon. That's, this is why we do these lessons to let our people know. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, y'all got to wake up and to repent. You, you, you have no business out here marching with these people. The fuck are you thinking about? Let these, because the Lord, you marching with them? Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. Salakia. This scripture comes to mind. Proverbs 11 and 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. You can join hands with these people all you want to. That's not going to help anything. They can march all they want to. They can protest all they want to. They can, do you know, they can wave those goddamn flags. They can, they can, they can scream from the river to the sea all they want to. <laughs> it's not going to help them. You see, so you joining hands with them. You're wasting your time and you're going to be destroyed if you don't get the fuck away from them, because as they get in their punishment, you don't want to be around them, man. Proverbs 16 and 5. Everyone that is, is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. And know some proud ass people, too. They're just as prideful as, as, as um, Esau Edom, the so-called white man. The Lord don't like prideful people, man. He, you know, he, you know, that, that, that's one of the things that he hates. It's an abomination to him for you to be proud, man. You just a goddamn human on earth that, that, that can't change one minute or stature in your life. You can't make yourself taller. You can't make yourself shorter. You can't make yourself, you know what I'm saying, rich or poor. You can't do anything, but you're proud as hell. Come on, man. It says, though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. So you can join hands all you want to, man. All that kumbaya, that Martin Luther King shit, that Rosa Parks. Stop letting these people see what they don't give a shit about you until there's something going on with them. Remember when COVID went down and everybody was jumping on those fucking Asians, the so-called Chinese or Japanese, anybody that looked like one of them. They was getting their asses whooped a few years back here. What did they do? Asians and blacks and solidarity. Now, all of a sudden, they want to try and group up with you. But where was they at when you we've been getting our asses whooped for hundreds of years? They don't give a fuck. They set up in your neighborhood. They set up shop. They set up a store overpriced shit whoop your ass because they're they're proud too see anyway let's get some more of this it says historically organizations such as black panthers who openly advocated for the right of the arab refugees to return to their palestinian homeland look man we're not a part of no fuck fuck a black panther we're labeled as terrorists and outliers and see this is what they're trying to do this is what they're going to do to you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. Any of y'all that's joining up and you're not saying that you're solid, you have solidarity with Israel. They're looking at you as a fucking terrorist. They don't give a fuck what what um 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 sec, uh, uh, sec you with. They don't care about what organization you with. You out here marching with those goddamn Palestinians. They don't care if you Black Panther. They don't care if you Black Lives Matter. They don't care what group you come from. <laughs> they're, group, they're grouping y'all, all, all y'all asses right together in one group, man. It says um, they were labeled terrorists and outliers. This in itself can bring out a lot of powerful emotions for us and our children. Nah, 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 yeah, nah. Fuck out of here. Black activists such as Tamika Mallory. See, here you go. They're fucking women, man. And activist groups such as Black Lives Matter and Black Christians for Palestine. Get the fuck out of here, man are standing in solidarity with Palestinian causes. Even Martin Luther King's junior daughter, see, it's all a bunch of damn women. Bernice King took to Twitter to correct Amy Schumer, which is another um, woman, false claims that her father would have supported Israel's occupation and ethnic cleansing of, of Palestinians. 
In the last few years, Palestinians have advised black protesters during a racial justice uprising following the death of George Floyd. They also painted murals of him as a show of support for a black cause. Man, look, we don't give a fuck about none of that. We ain't falling for that, man. We don't care. Fight your own damn fight. And you, Jake, hey, because you know what the so-called white man is about to do? He's about to start uh, drafting y'all asses and enlisting you into um, 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 their war to go and fight for these fucking people that don't give a fuck about you. Y'all better wake y'all asses up, man. And so lock you for the language, man. It's just, hey, <laughs> I mean, right now, it's no time to be playing around. Everything is getting serious as hell, and Jake just out here just doing a bunch of silly shit. We don't have nothing to do with no damn Palestinians, man. Let they asses fight. Because you know, I'm telling you, I can go up the street right now and I don't care north, south, east, or west, whichever way that I go, there's some fucking Palestinians in the neighborhood getting money off Jake. And don't give a fuck about us, man. So fuck them, man. Okay, so it says, um, with round-the-clock news broadcasts and social media posts covering the Israeli-Palestinian war, it's easy for children to be exposed to unfiltered and uncensored content much of which contains images, videos, and conversations about suffering and death. Look, man, Jake not thinking about none of this shit. Jake, if it ain't, it look, Jake only want to be entertained. Jake is not entertained by no shit like that. So like I said, again, this is one of those articles from, um, you know, in one of those magazines of the uppery, the, you know, I would say the uppity so-called black people. Six figures, you know, living in, you know, in a nice neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 you know, they, they, they don't know anything about not knowing where the next meal is coming from, how the fucking uh, rent is going to be paid. They don't know nothing about nothing, nothing like that. They're not borrowing no money from nobody for no gas to get back and forth to work for the rest of the week. They ain't thinking about. So, don't, you know, when they saying something like this, we already know what percentage of people this is. These are those Jakes that, you know, that that are uppity. And leave the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? They don't want they don't want nothing to do with their own people, but they'll get out here and, and, and fucking march with these people. Anyway. It says according to Dr. Judith Joseph, wow, she got two Hebrew names. Judith and Joseph. Or, you know, of course there's no letter J's in the Hebrew alphabet, but you get what I'm saying. It says a child and adult psychiatrist. Children as young as preschool age four years old are capable of understanding the concept of fighting and war. You should ask yourselves, does my child understand the concept of right versus wrong and fair and, and versus unfair? But the thing of it is, is you wouldn't see a doctor like this. They wouldn't even want you to teach your children that, OK, you're a Hebrew Israelite. Those so-called white people that you see on a day to day basis, baby, look, those are some vicious ass people. They will kill you. They don't like us as a race. This fucker would be sitting down talking about, well, baby, we all got to get along together and not all of them, you know, but you, you know, no, they see, they're not going to give our kids the straight skinny, man. They're not going to tell them straight up. OK, so what's going on, man? Anyway. I want to keep this lesson long. Uh, what else they got here? It says chances are they do. Dr. Judith continues, they may regularly have fights with siblings, peers, and even parents about fairness and unfairness, and that means that they likely understand war. In an age where it is almost impossible for parents to shield children from the news, social media, or information, knowing how to speak with children about these difficult topics is very important. If they are not hearing the information from you, you should assume that they are hearing it elsewhere. She says that there are useful steps that can be taken to approach the sensitive the sensitive topic of war. It's important to listen first, learn about what they already know about the topic. Her advice is to ask open-ended questions instead of yes and no um, questions. For example, let me see here. What have you heard about the ha what's happening in the world instead of have you heard about the war? Be honest, don't lie to them because they will feel unsafe. Look, man, anyway. Got enough on that. I, I don't need to read no more. Let's see a couple of comments on it. This person says, nope, not me. Don't put your filthy un-American words in my mouth. I teach my kids to honor America and the values of this great country. If you don't like it, move to Lebanon. See? See that? And, and, and this right here is a so-called, probably a so-called white person. See, they're, see, they're sitting their kids down and actually really talking to them. Jake just in the hood, you know, uh, you know, everybody got a phone in their hand. Everybody on some different type of level. The son is sitting there looking at some bullshit. The daughter, she's sitting there looking at some gossip shit. The mama, she's looking at some gossip shit too, just on an adult level. 
You know what I'm saying? The, the father, he's just like, oh, well, let me pay for all these phone bills. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's just, you know. So Jake is not, not informed. But th this is the reason why we do these lessons. We are to come out. Let me get this real quick. Because these people want you to feel like you're American. Act American. Strive for America. Fight for America. When you should be telling your children, you better not ever fight for this place. Let Esau Edom, the so-called white man, fight his own wars. The so-called white man has been at war for 300 years or so. Damn near. That, this is what the type of stuff you should be telling your kids. Tell them the, stra the straight truth. The people that are over you conquered us. They enslaved us. Fuck all that old, you know, well, not all of them are this way. No, 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 fuck all that. You got to straight up, be straight up with these kids, man. When they get to an age of knowing and learning, you got to be straight up with them. Because why? The so-called white man, he's telling them that they go, uh, uh, shit, he could turn his fucking gender into, you know, a girl. He not telling no truth at all. You send your kids to school and the so-called white man is giving them all kinds of bullshit. So why are you not at the house teaching them the, uh, the real the real things, man? Anyway. I kind of was thinking about the scripture I wanted to get, but let's get this real quick. It's a lot. That's 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Because this is the way they want your kids to think, see? But but like I said again, what you could tell from the article, and, and when they say Dr. Judith Joseph, we already know uh, what, what angle they're coming from. The, those are those people, yeah, they might hear about that shit. They're a little more in tune, you know what I'm saying, to news and, and what's going on. And, and, and they're really just, you know, um, just delusional, man. Because they're trying to live in a world that's really not made for them. See, we're, we're in captivity here in this land. We're, 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 we're on punishment in this land. All that old trying to move out of the neighborhood and go and, and, and get a better education. And, you know, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with going to school. Because, you know, man's going to be how about shimmy, I was shy. There's nothing wrong with, you know, you getting an education and trying to, you know, uh, start a business and doing better or whatever you can in any situation that you can. I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with that, but you have to really realize what's going on, man. Thank you. Yeah. How about Shemi Yahweh for the blessings that he blessed you with? The water, Yahweh. Some of us are doing better than others as far as financial wise. The water, Yahweh for, you know, um, um, blessing me, wh wh whatever you have, man, you got food, you got water, you got clothing on your back, you got um, a place to live. Man, you should be thanking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for your daily bread, no matter where you are. But again, I'll oh, see like somebody I can tell already tell like from this article, these are people that live in and they live around so-called white people. You can you can clearly see it. But this is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. See? And we're not ignorant of the fact that, you know, they, they try and use our people. They put us all in one damn big ass group. Just look at them. They're called this. He's called that. You know, he's a guy. Black Lives Matter. You got um, Black Panther. You got Black this, Black that. And they, 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 they're with the Palestinians. Why are they with the Palestinians? Because we know that we fucked them over too. This is the only reason why they can say something like that. Only reason why they can group. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, and really, in reality, the only way that the so-called blacks can actually see like, you know what? Yeah, that's fucked up. That's wrong. Is because the so-called white man has been doing. They've been dealing with every nation like that. They've been dealing with every single nation like that for a real long time. And especially us. But like I said, again, you never see these people when we're going through it. But when they going through something, when they going through something, niggas always got to get involved, man. And then they, 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 and what, you know what? And it's crazy because whether we're involved or not, they're going to make it seem like we're involved. This is the schemes of the so-called white man. This is the reason why. Let me get this again. Second Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices. They're going to put everybody in a group. And they're going to they've been using this this playbook for a real long time. Every time you look up the so-called what the fuck does the so-called black people have to do with Israel and Palestine? But you'll see these stories. You'll see these 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 articles. 
You see? Because I don't see nobody out here talking about stuff like that. But, you know, you have a lot of people. When you see these types of articles, man, you have to realize that there are actually people that are, you know, that are paid to write these articles. They're paid to do these things. They're paid to um, to fool our people, so to speak, man. OK, this person says not sure what that means. I consider myself proud black American. See, no, you're not fucking black and you're not fucking American. You wouldn't even be able to call yourself that if these crackers didn't um, um, kidnap your dumb ass. See? And this is how silly our people are. They don't, they, see, this is the type of things that need to be taught. You need to be taught that you're not black. You need to be taught that you're not American. You need to be taught, okay, you're a citizen. You, you live here. You was born here. But are you, uh, uh, this continent is not your nationality. This continent is not your ethnicity. Let's tell the truth. Fuck how white so-called white people feel. They feel bad when you get to telling them about, well, we wouldn't be able to. If you just imagine, tell a so-called white person, I wouldn't be able to, um, because because trust me, if you told a so-called white person, no, I uh, no, I'm not American. I don't consider myself to be American. I don't identify as an American. They're going to first off be pissed. They're going to be mad. Then they're going to want to ask you why. And then all you have to simply say is, and, and, and if you say it, all you have to simply say is because I wouldn't be able to be called American if um, your ancestors had not brought my ancestors here and, you know, kidnapped our people and brought us here um, by force. And then see the look on their faces and see what their reaction is going to be. See, they don't want things like that to be said. They don't want the truth to come out. But they're but they'll tell you, oh, yeah, we're about truth and equality and we're about, you know, um, you know, um, um justice. The fuck out of here, man. OK, somebody responded to him and said, as you should, for you are. Thank you for teaching your children for being that way. The fuck out of here. You're not a black. You're not American. I'm a proud black American. See, this is how silly our people are. Man. Liberal, indoc doc liberal indoctrination and propaganda at its best. Didn't even make it past the first paragraph before I stopped reading. Shit like this is what's wrong with this country. <laughs> yeah. This person says, I only read the title of the article. I can't read the article because the title was too disturbing. Just judging by the title, it seems to me they're trying to put more burden on Americans that don't need burden. Man, get the hell out of here, man. You, you need to be realizing that they're trying to put, uh, trying to um, place a target on, on, on your people, man. Anyway, you know, I'm going to end out there. I'm not going to keep this lesson long. You know, I like to, you know, touch on things like this because Esau is sneaky, man. He's rounding up all of Jake and putting all of Jake into one big ass group. He don't care if you're an Israelite. He don't care if you are, uh, uh, you're, you're, you're claiming to be a Black Lives Matter participant. They don't care if you're a damn Muslim. If you got a skin color and they know that you are, you know, of the so-called black American race, they got you all all in one package, man. Trust me. This is Esau Edom, man. That's why the scripture says to, to walk circumspectly. Let me end out with that. Be circumspect, man. Don't just be fucking stupid as hell out here. You're living in the information age. There's too much information that you can gather out here to just be going with the so-called white man's narrative, man. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Don't be foolish, man, out here. You have to you have to you have to walk about this earth as you know being wise and watching and praying. That's why the scripture says, Blessed is the man that read. Because our people don't be reading these scriptures. So they that that's why they can they, they'll read an article like this, but they won't read the scriptures. See? And then they're getting gypped or, or, or duped by the so-called white man and, and, and his games that he fucking play, man. You see? So, you know, I'm going to end out there, man. Hey, be circumspect. Watch and pray out here because Esau, he's throwing all kinds of shit out here now. He's throwing all kinds of things out here right now, man. So with that, Kwame Inshallah.